Hello everyone, Shane here with RepairDesk. Today we'll be looking at how to use the Epson Printer Direct Integration with RepairDesk to get automatic prints for your repair store. Before we get started, make sure that your Epson printer is connected to the same network as your system and that your printer IP address is printed for you. To receive your network information, connect your printer to your router through an Ethernet port and turn it on. Then press and hold the reset button underneath the printer for up to 4 seconds with the pin tip. This will print a sheet from your printer that will have all the network information including the IP address. You will also need to have the Epson printer driver installed on your system. To install the Epson printer driver for Mac OS, you'll first need to download the driver from the Epson website. Once the driver has been downloaded, it's time to install. Extract the contents from the zip file and launch the installation files. You'll be guided through the process as the drivers are installed. When the setup is complete, open your Mac System Preferences and navigate to Printers and Scanners. From here, click the plus icon on the bottom left of the screen to install a new printer. On the next screen, click on the IP tab. And in this address field, enter the IP address you printed out earlier. Once you're done, click Add. You will now see the printer added to your list on the left. Right click the printer entry and select Set Default Printer. Your printer is now configured for Mac OS. Now to set up the integration in RepairDesk. Head over to your store settings and from the sidebar, under Hardware Settings, select Epson. Once your printer is connected, you'll be able to configure the settings in RepairDesk. To enable automatic printing, click Yes from the first option. Next, configure the options below. From the interface type, select Ethernet. The port number is a fixed value that is generated automatically and does not need to be changed. The IP address needs to be specified, and your Epson printer should be able to print it once it's connected to the network. Enter the printer IP address and click on Test Printer. This will print a confirmation message using the printer. The paper size is automatically set to 80 millimeters for now, and does not need to be changed. Next, under General Settings, you can find the option to automatically print a receipt when a ticket is created and when an invoice is created. Once these are enabled, your receipt will be printed automatically when a ticket or invoice is generated by the system. You can also have a reconciliation report printed by the Epson printer. Once your shift ends, select Yes from the option, and the next time you close your shift and repair desk, a reconciliation report would be printed automatically. When you're all done, click on the Save Changes button to confirm your settings and begin printing. 
Whether you are on the POS screen, the trade-in purchase screen, the invoice section, or anywhere else, clicking on the print thermal receipt button will now automatically print the receipt to your designated Epson printer. After this process, you'll notice that there's a certificate issue that arises with your website. To resolve this, you'll need to install the proper certificates so your browser can access the printer properly. To do this, open up your web browser and in the address bar, enter the IP address of your printer. You'll receive a warning message that the site you're visiting is unsecure. You can safely ignore the warning for now and proceed to access it anyway. On the next screen, you'll be asked for a username and password. Type Epson in lowercase in both fields and proceed. Next, from the left sidebar, go to the SSL TLS settings under the security section. Once here, under the self-signed certificate section, click on the create button. This will take you to a new screen. Add your printer's IP address and then click on the Create button. You will now be asked to reset your printer. Click on the Reset button to move forward. Now on your Chrome browser on Mac OS, click on the warning in the browser bar where you entered your IP and click on the certificate. When the certificate appears, use your mouse to drag it to your desktop to save it on your system. Once it's saved, double click on the certificate file to add it to your keychain. Now double click on the certificate in your keychain to open up its settings. And select Always Trust from the combo box. Your certificate is now successfully installed. For more information, please consult our Knowledge Base article. We hope this integration will help streamline your repair store and make printing a whole lot easier. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the RepairDesk team at support at repairdesk.co. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you stay safe and healthy.